Hi, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. I'm Jen with Jenko Designs. In this video, we're going to go over three new pen hacks in the new version of Affinity Designer. We'll go over how to create an object on an existing object layer. We'll show you the lasso tool. We're going to go over the rubber band mode. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to sculpt with a pencil tool. We've got a lot to cover. Let's just jump right in and get started. All right, so the first thing I want to show you Let's go ahead and select our cloud layer on the right hand side in our layers panel. We'll go over to the pen tool out of the tools panel on the left hand side. Click and select that. You'll notice across the top in the context toolbar there's some new buttons. Let's select this one that looks like two rings. It's adding a new curve to a selected curve object. Okay. What that's going to allow us to do is to add an object right on this existing layer. Okay not add another layer and then group them. So it's, it's an alternative to grouping objects. But let me show you. So we'll go ahead and just click in the workspace here and you can click and drag to get your rounded uh, nodes. And I do encourage folks to use the close curve button when you're uh, making objects with a pen tool so that you get a completely closed object. So let's go ahead and get our node tool. You can hit A on your keyboard. You can select this white, little white arrow. And this allows us to move the nodes around. You can, and it acts like a regular object. Okay, so now it's just like a regular object, although you'll notice here it is in the same layer as the cloud. It's not a sub layer. It's right there at the same layer. There are a couple of things you need to be aware of. One is that it takes on the color of your original object. And if you try to change the color, it changes the color of the original object. So it, it's not allowed to have an independent color. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. The other thing is you can't select it as an object. So if we go and get our just our regular um, move tool, you can't just select this one thing as an object. It is like, it is, uh, for all intents and purposes, it's grouped with the original object on that layer. Okay, so it's selected as a layer. Now for something fun, what you can do is go ahead and select your pen tool again, and we'll stay with adding a new object, and we'll come on top of uh, our selected, oh, we've got to make sure our layer is selected. Now if you create an object on top of another object, what it does is it acts as a subtraction. So go ahead and close your curve. It acts like a subtraction layer. We'll get our node tool and we can move that around and you'll see what it actually did was subtract from that existing layer. So that's kind of fun and I can kind of show you that but just you know drawing an ellipse here. And we'll go ahead and set that to the back and you'll see that it's right there behind there. It is actually subtracted from that original object. Okay, so that's kind of fun, but that's not really going to work for our cloud. Okay, so what we want to do is we'll get our node tool again. We're going to select our layer. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay, so what we'll do now is we want to, this isn't going to work for our cloud. So we're going to go ahead and delete this, but I wanted to show you another new thing in version 1.7, and that is they've created a new way to select your nodes. So the traditional way is you click and drag a marquee over to select your nodes, right? Well, now if you hold down the option key and just click and drag, you can create, it creates a lasso type of uh, th uh, objects so that you can pick only the nodes that you want to pick, okay? instead of having to have them be within a rectangle or a square. Okay, Okay. so the next thing I want to show you is the rubber band mode. Okay, so let's go back to your pen tool on the tools panel. And the rubber band mode is this button right here. We'll go ahead and click that. So what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and trace around this cloud. And I'm just going to start here. And you'll see that this rubber band mode is great because it gives us a line that we can use if we're tracing an object or if you just really want to see more of, of what you're uh, trying to trace or draw. As you draw, you can see. And you get the same node, sharp, uh, click point for a sharp node and then a click and drag for a uh, rounded node. 
just like you normally would. And I always use the close curve to close your object. Okay, so we have this object now and it's on a separate layer. Go ahead and name that cloud two. And we can just move this over. Let's flip it upside down. Make it a little bit different. We can fill it. Let's take the stroke off of it. And then we have the beginnings of our next cloud. Now before I go ahead and uh, do the uh, layering and, and clipping to get this effect that I have on my first cloud, I want to just adjust this a little bit more. So we'll keep our layer selected here. We'll go to our node tool, okay? And we can move around our nodes and, you know, make it more defined. And we can play with that a little bit. But something fun I wanted to show you is if you take, you have your object now, Let's go to the pencil tool over here in your tools panel. And there's a new button here called sculpt. So we're going to turn that on. And you notice that you have your object here. So what you can do is you can just draw a line and it will adjust your shape for you. Okay. You can subtract or you can go node to node. And this is a great tool because it allows you to just adjust the shape the way you want it without having to do and the working with the nodes and the handles and all of that. You can get a, a you know, a more free form shape just by drawing it in and sculpting the edge. Okay. So I'm going to take a few minutes, finish up this cloud, and then we'll wrap up this video. Okay. So hold tight and I will be right back. So there I finished creating the cloud. I moved them around a little bit, got them to look pretty good. So let's go over what we learned in this video. First of all, I showed you how to add a new curve to a selected uh, curve object. In other words, a new curve to an existing layer and how you can use it if you stack it on top of an existing object on that layer, it acts as a subtraction. I showed you the lasso tool for using the uh, node tool for selecting your nodes. We went over the rubber band tool for creating, when you're creating your curves with the pen tool, how that helps you to either trace an item, show you where your line is actually going to be. And then as a bonus, I showed you how to use your pen, your, excuse me, your pencil tool to actually sculpt the lines of your object. Okay. That's what we've got in this video today. Three great hacks for the new version of 1.7. There's a lot more stuff in this new version I'm going to be making some more videos about. Click that button to subscribe. Select that notification bell so you get notified every time I put out some new content. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to my subscribers. Have a great day and happy creating.